boys around the bend. Big adventure, all oh, brand new friend. When you're curious, I like curious y'all. Swing! Well, everything every is so glorious. glorious. And everything, everything is so wondrous. But it's more to explode when you open your door. And meet friends like this, just can't miss. It was a great day to fly a kite with a friend. Kite flying friends are forever. Whoa. Even if good weather isn't. Hey, come back here! George took their piggy banks to the store to buy a new kite. Let's get that one, George. George? Ooh. <sighs> that is the kite we gotta buy. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's see what we've got. That's two, three. Oh, I hope we have enough. 350, 5, 785, 86, 87. We need more. No, no. Oh. We don't have enough money, George. You know, you could put the kite on layaway. You give us part of the money now, and we'll save the kite for you until you have the rest. <laughs> How long would you like us to hold it? Well, we'll have to find some jobs and earn the money. Today's Friday, which gives us all weekend. Um, we can come back for the kite first thing on Monday? Monday it is. Oh. Come on, George, let's get to work. Huh? Hello, Mr. Quint, this is Bill from Bill and George's Excellent Job Service, where every job we do is excellent. George and I were wondering if you had any, um, Jobs you'd like done this weekend? You do? Great, thank you. Yes, we'll be there right on time. We got another one! <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Rankins. This is Bill from Bill and George's Excellent Job Service, where every job we do is excellent. Okay, and then after we pull the weeds, we'll go over here and walk the dogs, then over here and mow the lawn, then to the lake and paint the shed, then to the farm and pick apples, then we rake more leaves, clean a garage, wash some windows, stack some cans. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> Ooh, you're right. It is kind of confusing. <laughs> and it's a lot to do. <sighs> Got it! We'll get everything organized. We'll make a schedule. Huh? A schedule. I use them all the time to keep myself A1 perfectly organized. We'll put each job on a card, then we'll put all the cards in order from the closest job to the one that's farthest away. <laughs> that way, we minimize our travel time and maximize our work time. <laughs> Of course, we should also figure out how much time we can spend at each job if we want to finish by Monday. But hey, no problem. 
So after we pull the weeds, we'll have exactly 20 minutes to walk the dogs, 25 minutes to mow the lawn, etc., etc., which leaves us 45 minutes to pick apples at the Rankins. <laughs> then on Monday morning, we get our kite. <laughs> but only if we finish all our jobs. So we have to stick to this schedule. Right and early the next morning, Bill and George set off for work. <laughs> Where to first, George? 60 minutes to pull weeds. Set the official schedule timer, George. Ooh, I didn't know this yard was so big. I hope 60 minutes is enough time. Yikes! You're right! We used up 10 minutes just to get here! Bill and George worked as fast as they could. <laughs> we did it! Our next job is... <laughs> walking the dog. 20 minutes? Uh-huh. Let's go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh -huh. Come on. Bill and George had to run fast and mow fast. but they managed to stick to their schedule. <laughs> we finished on time! Huh? Oh no, it's raining! Now what are we gonna do? There was nothing to do but wait until the rain stopped. We lost an hour waiting for the rain and now we have to repaint the shed. We'll never catch up. Huh? Uh. George got an idea how they might make up the lost time. jobs and I take the other half? Split the schedule? Ah, ah. Why not? It's still the schedule. We're just doing it separately, right? Ah. <laughs> Keep your cards in order! Even though it had stopped raining, the weather wasn't cooperating. It was too windy for apple picking. George, I was just about to make myself a sandwich. Would you like one? Huh? George thought a sandwich sounded wonderful. But eating wasn't on the schedule. Mm. Well, now it was. This is a lot, George. They told us down at the store about you and Bill wanting to buy a kite by Monday morning. <laughs> so you're saying the weather got in your way? <laughs> well, that, that's why you gotta make hay while the sun shines. Huh? <laughs> that's farmer's talk. Means you can't fight the weather. When it rains, you stay inside and fix the tractor. When it's sunny, you go outside and mow the hay. George realized that he had outside jobs and inside jobs. Maybe, instead of fighting the weather, he should just come up with a new schedule. What do you suppose got into him? <laughs> An idea, most likely. Why won't 
this weather cooperate? <laughs> what are you doing here? A visit isn't on the schedule. Stop! You're getting the cards out of order. <laughs> George rearranged the cards into two groups. Inside jobs, they could do while the weather was bad. And outside jobs, for when the sun was shining. Can stacking, basement cleaning. Okay, those are inside jobs. Apple picking and raking. Those are outside jobs. So you're saying, do the inside jobs now? Huh. That's a great idea, George. I should have thought of that. Come on. For the rest of that day, Bill and George did their inside jobs. Next day, when the weather was good, they finished all their outside jobs. Good job, George. Good job, Bill. And on Monday morning, a very tired Bill and a very tired George bought their kite. Well, well, you have more than enough. Here's the change, George. And George even had enough money to give to some needy friends. Here you go. <laughs> so once again, it was a great day for two friends to fly a kite. And to take a nap. George loved going to Mabel's department store. I know there's a lot you like to do here, but let's not stay too long, okay? I just need to buy some shoelaces. George did have a lot of stuff he liked to do at Mabel's. In the TV department, he liked to see how many monkeys he could become. Over in gift wrap, he liked to help the lady tie up packages. <laughs> and he really liked to ride the escalator, always remembering to hold on to the rails. George, over here! What do you think, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I like them too. <laughs> oh, and thanks for checking in. <laughs> the place George loved best was the kids' department. <laughs> George saw something he'd never seen before. Where did the train come from? And where did it go? <laughs> George had to find out. So that's where it came from. That little lamp on the table. <laughs> George found that when the train moved across his hand, it got a lot smaller. So he thought he'd try an experiment. Sure enough, when the lamp was close to the screen, the train got smaller. But as the lamp got further away, the train got bigger. Ooh. That's really something, huh? <laughs> you want to see how it works? <laughs> now, 
see how the train has been cut out of the lampshade? Now the light shines through it, and voila! And if you don't like trains, we've got ponies, race cars, aardvarks. Now that George knew how the lampshade worked, he couldn't wait to get home and make one. Meanwhile, the man with the yellow hat was waiting to pay for his new clothes. <laughs> Sorry, George, I still have to pay, but it shouldn't take too long. I hope. <laughs> Only seven people ahead of me. <laughs> Five more people, and then it's my turn. Three more to go. I'll be out in a jiffy. <sighs> Listen, why don't you go home and I'll meet you there. <laughs> Mabel's will be closing in five minutes. Please make your purchases now. I'm trying, okay? George couldn't wait for his light picture to move across his own room. But wait, how did it move? <laughs> Mabel's department store is now closed. Please make your way to the exit. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> no problem. Have a good evening. Thanks. Good night. Oh, I forgot to buy my shoelaces. <sighs> oh well, too late now. Hmm. Something was making the lampshade move. Was there a motor underneath? The lamp was hot, which reminded George of something. His candle holder. George loved how the hot air from the candles made the birds fly. Maybe hot air from the light bulb moved the lampshade. George had his answer. Now he could go home. <laughs> oh no, the store was closed and George was locked in. <laughs> oh well, he'd just have to make his lampshade here. First, he had to gather up materials. Skates would definitely make that easier. Fortunately, Mabel's had everything he needed. George decided to keep track of the stuff he used so he could pay the store back later. Even a monkey on a mission has to take time out for a little fun. <laughs> George, I'm back. Sorry I took so long. Things kept falling. George? Hello? Huh. I wonder where he is. George was in housewares. <laughs> now it was time to get back to work.
George! George! George decided to trace the lampshade. It was time to make the cutout. Should he cut out a train or something else? The lampshade was done. He couldn't wait to show it to the man with the yellow hat. Except he couldn't show it to him because he was locked in. And George had no way to tell him where he was. He did. Ooh. <laughs> now all George had to do was wait. <laughs> George? Oh, looking for a monkey in the city is like looking for a needle in a... What? Huh? Well, I'll be. Ha! What a smart little monkey. Hi. We're closed. Uh, come back tomorrow. I just need to pick up my monkey. That's a new one. <laughs> Welcome home, buddy. Sleep tight. George thought it was great to be home, even if he had no idea how he got there. 